Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to use place value blocks to represent four digit numbers. So we're going to be going to the thousands place. Now place value blocks help us better understand numbers and place value by giving us a visual, so something we can see. We're going to go through three examples together here in order to get this down. So let's jump into number one where we have some blocks off to the left. Now in the middle, right here in this table, this is called a place value chart, we're going to put exactly what all those blocks mean. And then lastly, to the right where it says number, we're going to write the number in standard form, which just means write a number out how you normally would. Now in this situation or in this video, each individual block represents one whole. So speaking of one whole, let's start with the ones place. So the individual blocks right here. Let's see how many we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven individual blocks, seven holes. So we can represent that in our number by putting a seven in the ones place. So let's move to this stack of blocks right here, which is a stack of 10 blocks. So we have one group of 10, which has a value of 10. And we can represent that by putting a one in the tens place. So one stack of 10, which has a value of 10. Next, we have some squares right here which each of those represents 100. There are 100 place value blocks in each of those squares. And we have, well, we have one, two, and three of them. So three groups of 100, which has a value of 300. And we represent that 300 by putting a three in the hundreds place. And then lastly, we have the two cubes, which those are groups of 1,000, and we have two of them. So this is 1,000, and then this is 1,000. So two groups of 1,000 has a value of 2,000, and we can represent that by putting a two in the thousands place right here. So that number in standard form would be 2,317. So this seven represents seven ones those seven individual blocks. Now this one right here represents one group of 10, which has a value of 10. The three represents three groups of 100, which has a value of 300. And then lastly, the two represents two groups of 1000, which has a value of 2000. All right, let's go to number two here. And we'll start with the ones place, which we do not have any individual place value blocks. So we represent that by putting a zero in the ones place. Let's go to the tens where we have one, two, three, and four. So four groups of 10 or 40 that has a value of 40. So let's put a four in the tens place. The hundreds, we don't have any groups of 100 there. So again, we need a zero if we don't have anything in that place. So let's put a zero there to represent zero groups of 100. And then lastly, we have one, two, and three groups of 1,000, which has a value of 3,000. So let's put a three in the thousands place. Standard form, we have 3,040. So zero ones, four groups of 10, which has a value of 40, zero hundreds, and then three thousands, which has a value of 3,000. Lastly, number three, we'll start with the ones, which again, we don't have any here, so we need to represent that with a zero. Then we go to the tens place. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six groups of 10, which is 60 or has a value of 60. So we will put a six in the tens place. Then we have one, two, 
and three groups of 100, which has a value of 300. So a three in the hundreds place. And then lastly, one group of a thousand right here. So we represent that by putting a one in the thousands place. So that one has a value of 1,000. So our standard form, we have 1,360. So zero ones, six groups of 10, which has a value of 60, three groups of 100, which has a value of 300, and then one group of 1,000, which has a value of 1,000. So there you have it. There's how you use place value blocks to represent four digit numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.